Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's looking for a good or a, a pretty good vector image of Winnie the Pooh. And I, I do a lot of searching and a lot of clip arting. If when you bring up Winnie the Pooh, you get this, and look, this file is pretty big. But you can search that. We can search, well, we're searching extra large. If we want to search, that's the way it's going to come up. This one's only 380 by 681. You can search by, go up here to filter, and you can search color, but we can search size, and we're going to search extra large. And then we click on it, and look at this. This is 1295 by 24. All these are going to be big files, 1600 by 1600. Uh, look at that one. Let's take that one. That would print, I'm thinking. Copy image, go into Corel. It's even better than the one we have, so we're gonna use it. But it's gonna probably have a background, and it does. So we need to get rid of the background. Let's just go and use this one. Let's reduce it, because it's 58 inches big. So set your nudge factor on 15. make you a duplicate of that by hitting the plus key on the keyboard and go ahead and trace this one. Outline trace clip art. Now the trace isn't gonna be near as good a quality, but we don't care, we're just trying to get the outline. It's taking us at 35%, 40. Taking just a few seconds, because it is a big file. I could have reduced it a little bit more and uh, it would have gone a lot faster and it's almost done and it's done. Now, there's ways to set it and set the background to take the background away, but I'm gonna show you something. It's not a clear picture, so that's not really what we want. Well, the background is gone for sure, but if you look, it's a terrible picture. So we, we really want that, so I'm gonna back completely up till we get that thing back there. And then I'm gonna nudge it over. We just want the outline. So there's two ways to do it. You could use the battery tool, but if you do this right here, take a box, take the smart fill tool, fill it in with any color. It won't fill in the bear. It's taking longer than I would think. Um, and then just move that out of the way. I'm gonna left click, right click. I'm gonna go ahead and move it away a little bit more. I'm gonna to go to object, break curve apart and get rid of that box. Now I'm gonna take this item and there's two ways to do it. We're gonna nudge it over original. I'm gonna keep a copy and I'm gonna put, the, put that on there. So it's right on top of the original. I'm gonna to go to intersect. Sometimes this won't work, but this, in this case it worked. If it doesn't work, what you can also do is take and make it a full color, move it over there, and you, a lot of times you can use front minus back, back minus front, and try different things, and or just intersect it like we did with the other color. Sometimes the line won't intersect. But there we go, it worked both ways. Now you have no background and a pretty clear image. Let's just do our yellow box trick just to make double check. Sure. Order back a page. Now you have no background, that background's gone. And, and you could change the background, you know, if you wanted that, um, how would you change the background? Well, we could do this, we could go well, to change the background would be easy enough. Just take a box about that size and make it whatever color you want and then go back a page and you've changed the background. You could also do it inside that intersect box, but no need to. And that way you could show a customer what it's gonna look like on a t-shirt. Uh, no matter what color t-shirt it is, you know, a gray one, a black one.
That's the original. All different colors. You wouldn't want a color that matches Winnie the Pooh. But anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.